We thank God for you at the kingdom table on today. Hallelujah. I'm grateful to be here. Amen. And I'm Pastor Sharon Hunter. And this is Reverend Artrice Hansberry. Amen. And I got to put it on pause for one second because I want to get you in this shot all properly. Right, and right. I moved it slightly. So, y'all, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> we going to live and not die. That's right. Hi, Dorothy Watkins. <laughs> I praise the Lord for you all on tonight Everybody being here at the kingdom table Where everybody has a seat at the table And all I need you to do sis Is scoot all the way up all right. And we will all get right. moving in on today I think that I think that does it I think it does Yeah, I see me Alright, amen How's your week been? It's been good Cause we done had a couple. It was at least a week or so. We, you and I, ain't hung out. So yeah, it was two weeks because you had to do the wedding. I did. It was two weeks. Oh, it was. It was so. I, I, you know, I don't. I can't explain it other than my nieces and my nephews are like my extended children, Mm -hmm. and and I love them with all my heart. Mm -hmm. And so when she called and she was like, "Hey, Sharon, I need you," and you know. And, and girl, as much as she needed me, I could have done more, but you know, I thank God because my niece did an awesome job, really pulling things together for the most part on her own, her and her hubby, um, who is an awesome man of God. So I'm so excited for him Moved to Las Vegas because he's in the military. So they moved to Las Vegas, like the day after or two days after. Wow. Yeah. So it is, it was, it was so beautiful. It well, I had my moments of, of tears and mm-hmm. that is my, um, I, I'll take that five moment, five seconds or five minutes or two and a half and you get two and a half okay. about that. Um, but before I say that you are listening to the kingdom table where everybody has yes. a seat at the table. And so, um, my mother, just would have loved this mm-hmm. because these were these were her grandchildren, my nieces and nephews, mm-hmm. but they're her grandchildren. And I just I could feel her spirit so strong around me. And when I got there, girl, when I say I got off work, because mm-hmm. it was in Bur- it was a little past Berea. Okay. So that's literally almost about two hours. It was only shy of two hours, maybe by ten minutes or so. So a sister was was doing mm-hmm. it, and uh, caught. Matter of fact, I was moving so fast, caught my other sister who had left. Before me, we'll talk about this whole other conversation, Ooh. but I caught her mm-hmm. and, uh, we got there and it was, and I'm thinking that it was, you know, I'm late and I was, the, my husband and I were the mm-hmm. for the, for the evening, but God worked it out. We had plenty of time and you know, no wedding ever starts on time. Mm-hmm. That's, that's it point blank. So Allie, if you're looking at this, no wedding starts on time. <laughs> and, and so we did, we had some lag time and, and, and after a few moments, I cannot but be me. Mm-hmm. So me said, well, you need help up. Mm-hmm. Just let's get in here because it, because it was people that the 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 setting was so gorgeous mm-hmm. inside and out. It was very easy to just get caught up in the luxury mm-hmm. of the beauty. Mm-hmm. So God just blessed me to just keep moving and you know along with it was another gentleman by the name of Avery, mm-hmm. which was her, her friend, and I think we had similar spirit. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you get this way, I get that way, and we got and the Lord blessed us to whip it together. But right before I got there. I said, Lord, if there's any, my mother always shows up in my spirit when I need her in the form of a red bird, Mm. always looking for red birds. And she was always looking for doves. Mm. And I said, Lord, if there's any way that that her spirit can be here so that we can, you know, just enjoy that, you know, let it be. So Mm. if you don't get, if you don't understand it, that's fine. Mm. Keep it moving. Okay. So I, I go up the steps. She's up in this loft. She's getting ready. I'm coming down. And by this time I'm in full mama auntie mode. That was really my mama. When I came down the steps, it was like, hey, I need her. Let me use your hands over there. You get it. It's like, hey, I don't mean no harm, but we got to get this moving. And it was such a blessing because I saw myself, saw my mama show up. And when I was coming down the steps, I had to laugh at myself Mm. because I saw her spirit so strong on the inside of me coming Amen. out and I was and, and it was, it brought joy to my heart. Amen. So it, it went wonderful. I had a blessed time. It was gorgeous. Um, let me see. It was in McKee, Kentucky. Okay. And it was a place called, the place was called Clover bottom mm-hmm. bed and breakfast. And it's mm-hmm. beautiful. Um, but when I tell you to go up that it was, it was up a hill. So we rode up. Mm-hmm. They had drop offs that to me, 
look at least 30 feet. Oh, no. Nah. It was rough. It was rough. It was rough. <laughs> yeah, I was rough. And then I was, you know, I'm the designated driver and, and we knew he was going to party all night. So they had a little, you know, it was like, you could party till 11 o'clock uh-huh. basically. But we, we took it all the way up to the, you know, it's, it's we going to be us. Right. And, uh, I was like, Holy ghost. Give me Dan off this mountain. Give me off, <laughs> give me off this mountain. He did it though. He did it though. Amen. I had about 13 people following me. <laughs> But it was good. Amen. It was a blessing. So Amen. I thank God. I thank God for you because you you just are a good friend. Thank and I bless you. the Lord thank for you. you. Because at the end of the day, this was something that the Lord moved on my spirit to do. I, I try my best to keep you abreast of things that God puts in yes. my spirit to do. I'm thankful for the other women of God yes. and the other men of God yes. that have already come, that are coming. Yes. You and I have already discussed yes. that. So Kingdom People, is, we got some guests coming yes. and, and we got yes. some other things that happen. And I'm thankful for that. But as I sat here today, my heart was, you know, you, it was closer to the wire. And I was like, well, maybe she's not coming. And that's okay because I knew we had had a couple right. weeks. I hadn't talked to mm-hmm. you. And I was like, I'm I'm not, there was no mad, right, no nothing. Right, right. I said, Lord, she's so faithful. Right. I said, but at the same time, the Bible says, be ye also right. ready. Amen. So I said, mm-hmm. and when it got real close, I was like, okay, well, let me go on and prepare yeah. to yeah. to do, you know, to drive along. Yeah. Yeah. And I turned everything a little bit, which is why you kind of slightly yeah. off, but we could deal yeah. with it. Right. And I and then I I heard the the car go. <laughs> I said, that's my sister. Yeah. Thank God. The for that. traffic. Oh my God. No, on the G night. Well, the the car show. Oh, yeah. That's what's here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the traffic oh, yeah. was terrible. Oh, yeah. The the, the hot riders are here. And so, oh. they're taking up all of the, the road when they get on, you know. Yeah. It takes them a little while to get up because they don't want to mess up with them beautiful cars. Exactly. And they make you look at them. And, and they do. They rubber necks. And, it, you know, so it's just like, come on, I got somewhere to be. Yeah, you I left out at 6.36. So, it only takes me like 13 <laughs> minutes to get here. But y'all want to be uh, in the parade. I, I, I bet you it's a beautiful <laughs> world was you at because so, I want to go so see. So, I get off. Uh, I come through Friday up. Oh, night. okay. Okay. And so they, some of them were coming through there yeah. to get on Gene Snyder. Okay. And some of them were, you know, coming uh, um, off of, like, coming from Tennessee. To come. Yes. So, you know, they're just getting on, honey. They got the little parade going on. I was That's like, awesome. My God, okay. That's awesome. You know, I'm going to tell you something, what I believe COVID has done for me. Uh-huh. And that is greatly appreciate even the smallest little yes. entertainment. Yes. So I'm not, now I like cars I, mm-hmm. and I, I would not necessarily consider myself a car person mm-hmm. because you know, car, they know they yes. cars. Yes. I just know I like it. Yes. It's, it's really it's pretty. pretty. Mm-hmm. And I like if I, so I consider my car, I, I, I would be with a novice, definitely yes. a novice, yes. Yes. but that would be something I might try yes. to ride around the city right. and yes. catch a glimpse yes. of <laughs> some beautiful yes. ones. Amen. Well, I thank God for being here. Um, I, my love, my I, my uh, use my little five minutes to talk about the testimony of my niece's Amen. wedding, and I thank God Amen. for that. And today we're going to be discussing putting God first, mm, Amen. putting God first. And sometimes are a topic sometimes may seem so simple, um, but God always can use it. Uh, to catapult us mm-hmm. uh, to where he would have us to go. Mm-hmm. Because I believe in my spirit and in my heart, that the Lord laid it on my heart to do this, to continue to help people to have conversation, not cliche conversation, mm-hmm. um, not, not conversation worried about how you're going to think about me. If I tell you mm-hmm. where I'm really at, mm-hmm. that's not where we're at here. Mm-hmm. Uh, the kingdom table, the goal is for you to talk about, you need to talk mm-hmm. about, and maybe you're not at a place where you feel like you're putting God first mm-hmm. and that's okay. Mm-hmm. Because as long as there's life, there's hope. Mm-hmm. And I already said it and I say it all the time. And we're going to live That's and we're right. not going to die. That's right. We're going to move forward. And I, I, I promise you this week, God revealed something to me about myself. One that was, they both were equally beautiful. Mm-hmm. But one caused me to look at myself and truly say, God, I repent. Mm-hmm. Because I, I, didn't, I didn't realize the severity of what I did Mm -hmm. and, and it didn't affect anybody per se. It was something that it was between me and God Mm -hmm. and God had to show me, this is what you did. Mm -hmm. And, and it had the potential to on your Mm -hmm. ear because you weren't putting me first. You got yourself involved. And you, when we start to see things from that perspective only, it'll always get us in a, in a wrong position. Mm -hmm. But then in this, but the same, the type of God we serve turn right around. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, thank you, Lord. And showed me something that I found was beautiful about him mm-hmm. at work in me. Mm-hmm. And it's not about, for no, it's never about someone looking at you. Mm-hmm. It is someone seeing Christ in you. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That, that blesses me. Mm-hmm. That ble- and I'm passionate mm-hmm. about allowing people to see Christ in me. Mm-hmm. I know I'm not perfect. Mm-hmm. I know you're not perfect. Mm-hmm. I know that the multitude of people that listen to this and look at this, we're not perfect. Mm-hmm. That's the thing that we got to learn with our walk mm-hmm. of Christianity. The purpose of Christ mm-hmm. is to recognize you're not perfect, mm-hmm. but we can move from excellence to excellence. That's true. That's mm-hmm. true. And a lot of times I think what, what, what happens is, uh, I don't know about you, but sometimes we feel that we have to be the super Christian. Yeah. And we forget that we are human. We're human. And 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 in our walk with Christ, that there are going to be times that we do fall short. That's right. But when we notice that, like you said, we have to run back to Christ, our Father. Yes. And remember that He is the head of our lives. Thank like you, Lord. You said, putting God first. Uh, we, we've all done that in some form or fashion where, mm-hmm. where we have not put him first. We might have put a man first. We yeah. might have put Please check, make it plain. You know, we might have put our checkbook first. Keep going. We might have put our <laughs> jobs first. You know, yes. Some of us have even put the church building yeah. first or the pastor Man. first. You know, That's a very good and, sister and, trees. And we, God has had to shake us in a way to get our attention to say, it's not about those things. What about me? That's right. If it had not been for me, thank you, Jesus. You wouldn't be where you are today. So we have, you know, like I said, we all have done that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody's done okay. That. Yeah. Know, some of us, we got some of the cutest little babies in the world and we'll get so stuck up on that baby that yeah. God will have to kind of shake us. Yeah, and get a get a, get a grip on us to say, honey, it's not about your cute little baby. No, 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 it's, it, exactly. If, if it had not been for me, we wouldn't have it, baby. You wouldn't you know have it. That's so it. That's it. We, we got to remember to put things in perspective, mm-hmm. and, and I and I think uh, that's why a lot of times we. It's, I can only speak from the women's point of view mm-hmm. that uh, when we go through birthing, mm-hmm. it's a process. Yes, so, absolutely, so we it is. How to go through the process when it comes to putting God first. That's it. It's a, it is, and I, I I like that, and, and because understanding that it is a process mm-hmm. puts us in the mindset that you're going to get this first and foremost overnight mm-hmm. because it is a process. Mm-hmm. A process implies that there are steps to follow. Mm-hmm. Granted, it could be one step, might mm-hmm. be three steps, maybe 10 steps, mm-hmm. might be 12. Whatever the case, we have to be willing to put in the work mm-hmm. in putting God first while we move through that process. And you're, you're right. We, we can, we get caught up and, and I got a couple points and you, mm-hmm. you share as we go. Mm-hmm. One of the things that the Lord put on my heart is that we live in a culture. American America has an American culture that encourages us to put self first. Mm-hmm. That that that's the culture we live in. Um, you know, people whether it is like you said, your man, mm-hmm. that's your man, girl, mm-hmm. or that's your woman, mm-hmm. dude. Mm-hmm. You know, putting that person first, or your like again going through those litany of things that you get went through, mm-hmm. you gave, mm-hmm. and these are the things that American culture teaches us mm-hmm. to put first. Mm-hmm. Now, it's wrong teaching. Mm-hmm. It is. It's absolutely wrong teaching because it goes against what Christ said Mm -hmm. and what the word of God says. Now, somebody might be watching. They say, that ain't wrong in my world. Well, you're not, if you're not a part of the community of Christ, Mm -hmm. then you're right. It Mm -hmm. it, it might not fit you, Mm -hmm. but if you are a part of the community of God and you are a part of the kingdom of God and you desire to sit at that kingdom table, that spiritual kingdom Mm -hmm. table, then you and I have to understand it's not about putting us first. Mm -hmm. The culture tells you to do that. It's all about, putting God first. And so it'll bring us to the, the, you know, the first thought process. Okay. How do I put God first? And because sometimes it's, it's that simple that maybe people don't get it. Mm -hmm. You know, am I, did did I really do that? Does that mean I'm not putting God Mm -hmm. first? Because if you are not showing up to church from Sunday after Sunday, because you value your own you time, then you may need to question mm. whether or not you're putting God first That's or not. Right. When it's time for 
Wednesday, Tuesday night Bible study, Wednesday night Bible study, Friday night Bible study, whatever it is that y'all doing, you know, and you make the decision that it's going to be better 